Hello, my friends and comrades, it is Dukan Red One, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Anyways, yes, we are announcing the end of the Conquest Castle Contest, and as you can see ahead of us, the winners are Lava Kid and LM Dohar. They have built this magnificent palace called La Alcazar. It is an absolutely beautiful creation. As you can see, it's a mainly sandstone, red clay roof um, structure. Has some great defensible and uh, de defensible features. Um, its interior is phenomenal and it's pretty original looking. So, um, and yeah, so pretty cool. So I am pretty excited to look through this guys and show you guys the winner um, for uh, second place went to Franz, Leonite, and Galizia, and the rest of their team. I will be doing a video on that one later on. Uh, and then there's also Egg, Geister, and Trixie, who won third place uh, with their Nordic castles. So we will be doing a video of those. And I'm probably going to be doing a video of the rest of these castles as we go on. So uh, in time. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and make a warp here to Alcazar. Um, so I'm just going to make the warp right here. Uh, okay, Law Alcazar. All right. And we're going to go ahead and make it in a nice spot. There we go. Set warp Alca. Czar. All right, so if you want to come here and check this castle out, just do slash warp Alcazar. Let's go make sure it works. And there we go, look at that. And it will bring you right here and you can check this out for yourself on the Raven.org server. Make sure you have the 1.7 points in Conquest and Optifine and all that goody, goody, goody two shoe stuff installed and ready to go because otherwise you will be seen default and uh, whatever your texture pack is and it's gonna be crap so yes make sure you have all the necessary things to see conquest so um, La Alcazar is pretty much a sandstone castle built on the Iberian Peninsula it's a uh, it's supposed to be a realistic castle but um, it is supposed to be built in the lower parts of Spain and uh, I'm pretty sure that is uh, yeah. So anyways, that is what's going on here. And there is quite a bit of fields and agriculture agriculture going on around it. You got a large body of water over here where the castle is overlooking. Um, very neat things going on here. I got some ruins out on this island. Maybe an old bell tower or a lighthouse. Who knows? I'm guessing a lighthouse. This looks like a place for a lighthouse. Um, but you got some docks around. I'm sure there are some secrets around here. Some things, maybe little caves. Who knows? Um, the underwater is full of detail. Just can't see it right now because of the shaders I'm using. So that is pretty cool. But um, I'm pretty sure there's a sea cave down here somewhere. Hey, hey, look at that. Here is a cave that goes into complete blackness. But um, anyways, I'm going to change shaders later on and we can do that. But for right now, um, what I'm going to tell you guys is how we judge this and uh, you know what we did. So there are three categories that we, we decided on. We have defensibility. Um, interior slash detail and then there was originality so defensibility interior slash detail and originality now those three um so there's three judges there was uh, monster fish philosophy and i and we each had 30 points per submission to vote or uh to judge on and each submission had three categories obviously what I just told you and we judged according to those specific categories and so what we did is um, that's how it basically was out of 90 points and the highest uh, amount of points won and so Lava Kid and LM Dohar won that um, by three points 
Uh, second place was Franz, Leonat, and Galizia with 61 points, so they were very close second. And then third place was Egg, Geister, and Trixie with 59 points. Um, and then I don't think it's really worth going down all the rest of the uh, submissions. Um, but we will post everything over on the Raven forum, um, you know, basically saying you know who the winners are. So that'll be in a link down below once we get it up. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But anyways, um, yeah, this is La Alcazar, a beautiful palace. I'm looking forward to going through the interior. There's a lot to see in there. Um, we got some lavender fields out here. Uh, lavender is a very important resource. Uh, I forget what it's used for. I think it's um, like was used for a medicinal purpose. Uh, also, lavender was maybe a dye, used for a dye, all kinds of different things. Uh, I'll have to look that up, or you guys can tell me in the comments below. Then we got a vineyard over here, obviously for some grapes, um, maybe for wine or etc. And also, it's nice to have some grapes on the dinner table. Uh, I like to be some nice crispy grapes. Um, so we got some either oranges or apricots here. I'm not sure what these are intended to be. Uh, to me, they look like oranges, um, but who knows? And then we have a house up here. It looks like a place for some local farmer to live, or maybe not to live. Maybe it's just a little shed, a little place to store all the uh, necessary agricultural tools and items in order to harvest this these fields. Um, looks like we got a tomato field in here. Tomatoes? Strawberries? I don't know. All right, so then up here we got another little house, another little place to... Um, do our thing, get a picnic table out front, and then I'm guessing, yeah, this is a place where someone would actually live. They got a little stove back there, really cool design, um, and a little bed up here. So it's a very small little house, a little shed out front. Um, not sure what is supposed to be. Okay, probably just a little shed. Cool, cool, cool. And then you gotta go outside the plot in order to go around. So uh, it just kind of like, this just sort of puts in like a feel like, like the plot just keeps going on. Like you feel like there's something out here. But anyways, this is the info. Um, project time pretty much start, took from November 20th, 2015 to March 20th, 2016. Um, but that's approximate date. I'm not sure if they started right on the 20th though. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, one way or the other, it took a long time to do this. The plot is currently in P time 6000, but for prettier sites, review at P time 12900. This will change the time from noon to dusk. All right, well, let's go ahead and try that real quick and see what it looks like. P time 12900. Okay, I need to redo that. And there we go. All right, um, a little too dark for me, so we're just gonna keep reviewing in this light right here, and never mind. So let's just go ahead and go to our lighter shaders so that we can see. And we're gonna do that 12,000. I'll be right back. Okay, so now this is a beautiful time that we can look through the plot in, so um, very nice. So let's just go ahead and look a little bit more through. We got a little town down here, I'm guessing, where they could do some um, fishing stuff. They got a little bit of merchant things going on around here. What is that down there? Fishies. It's fishies. Okay. Well, that's cool. I like that. Um, we got some fish down below and uh, some coral, it looks like. Nice. All right. So then we're going to look through here. Is there anything particularly that stands out? Oh, yes. We got to look through this. This here is a manor house up here where they smush grapes. So as you can see, this is where they would uh, take the grapes. They would fill this this little carton full of grapes, and then okay, doesn't go anymore. And then they would take this and they would crank it down using this. Like it would uh, basically crank down really hard and spin. And then that's how uh, you would smoosh the grapes. And then they would put that up, and the juice would come out onto here. And then uh, that's how they would fill up their barrels of grape juice. And as you can see down here, is uh, the grape juice is fermenting into the wine that they need. And it looks like a little murder pit back here. Okay. Um, I'm quite sure why that's there. Hookers ahead. Oh, I gotcha. Never mind. All right, so we will move on. Over 200 years. You're old. Wow. Okay, so that's probably some pretty uh, expensive wine there, and that the king can probably take all of it whenever he wants. So, uh, yeah. 
Anyways, so we're gonna walk through here and see what there is to see. Uh, Vino Rojo de la Ranger. No idea what that means, but Ranger reminds me of Red Ranger, so probably is committed to or dedicated to Red Ranger, one of our server regulars. Um, but anyways, so let's see what else there is to see. So this is kind of like a Roman style bath, I imagine. A little place where, oh, I love that little drain right there. But a little place where it's like in the middle of the house where this could possibly fill up with water. Um, or maybe like a little tub that could probably clog that drain and fill it up with water. And uh, goodness, I can't move anywhere. Uh, so we're gonna go upstairs. Actually, we're not gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go back out because we don't want this video to stretch on too long because we want to go and see the cool stuff at the castle and see what there is to see. All right, so defensively, there is some flaws about this castle. Um, as you can see, the terrain in some areas overlook the walls, the battlements, and that is a big boo-boo, a big no-no. Um, but uh, there is some things that sort of um, bring it back up, you know, as far as points are concerned. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of battlements, and they go up in sort of like a... Uh, you know, you can even shoot from up way up here and you know, shoot from way up here down on the enemies and that would cause them great um, yeah it wouldn't be good because there is so many areas to fire from that you know being any enemy you'd be shooting up at whatever you can and no matter what area you try to cover in order to keep the defense defenders below the battlements you're always gonna have another place where defender's gonna shoot an arrow at you. So um, you, gotta, you gotta be careful with that. So anyway, there's some catapults around as well. Um, some very neat catapults, very nice designs. Um, Mangonels, I imagine. Um, solo manzana, manzanas para guardar. So apples, I know manzana is apple. Uh, when I was down in Mexico, uh, I was down there for a couple of mission trips and um, Ah oh, man, I love their manzana soda. I've never been able to find manzana up here in America. Uh, I would love to have some of that. So like, what I do is I take ginger ale and apple juice and I put them together. It's not quite the same though. So anyways, um, so there is some other defensive features of the castle. As you can see, there's a drawbridge initially as you come in. Then you have a barbican here. Um, sort of lower line of defense so they can shoot down on the enemies as they are coming up through this sort of causeway. Uh, pretty difficult to get up through here. But anyway, then there's another drawbridge, another difficult thing to get past. Um, all the while they're trying to get through there, they're getting pummeled to death. So then you have another kill box. However, this spreads out into many different openings. You can see it goes into the stables up there. That goes up to the quote unquote great hall. Um, it's a pretty cramped great hall, but uh, it's for good reason. And then this heads down into the walls, I presume, down into maybe a barracks. I'm not sure. Uh, there is not much indication that it's a barracks though. Uh, so we're gonna keep going down. So we're going to actually explore the interior now and see what there is to see. Um, so we're headed down. Okay, so this is the, why do I keep going up? I don't know. So this is, oh, I, keep this, I keep hitting the space bar accidentally. Derp. Um, but this is the torture chamber it looks like, the dungeon, etc. Um, looks like this is where some very, um, yes, yeah, some very bad things happen here. Uh, I just finished watching the show called Tutors, and they did some torturing there, and uh, oh my goodness, there's some pretty nasty stuff them Elden people did in the Elden days. It's pretty crazy, you know, what people had, what people did to each other, uh, but it's, you know, it was effective, I guess, but, you know, their, their judging system was just absolutely hard, it made no sense. Uh, there was no judging. It was basically whatever the people that were more popular wanted. You know, if you were a good person, they just wanted to kill you for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you were too goody two shoes and they just wanted to kill you. So, anyways, that's morbid. Let's go ahead and move on with this video. So, we're looking through here. We got some stables. Very neat little stables going on here. Um, looks like we only have four horses, though. Um, there has to be more horses somewhere, and there is not. Um, okay, so maybe that is a downfall. Uh, I was really hoping for some more horsies. 
because uh, horses are a pretty important part of any castle. But then again, you know, you're pretty cramped on room in here, so uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I understand that quite, quite well. All right, and this is another mangonel. Come up to the mangonel there. Um, but where is the rocks for the mangonel? There should be like a pile of rocks around or something. Okay, so there we go. You got some gravel and rocks and stuff over here. So that works out pretty good. And I like this, using the wood for the battlements there. That's pretty cool, I like that. Good job there, Lava Kid and Elim Dohar for creating that very neat idea. So we got a little loft up over here. Got some carts coming in, uh, parked back here, uh, I guess for storage and stuff. So if they ever need a resupply, they can just hook up one of those carts to the horses and go on out and get some stuff. Um, so we got some you know, miscellaneous interior in here. Nothing really standing out as a specific interior. A little dining room over here. That's pretty cool. I like this quite a bit. Got a nice little fireplace there in the corner. And um, raw fishy for the extreme. Guards, apples only. Okay, interesting. Um, spices, dried foods. Okay, so we, it looks like we are in a pantry area. Uh, I imagine there's probably a kitchen nearby. So we got a little barracks or servants quarters going on in here and a couple privy chamber pots going on there. So actually what I want to do is show you guys down below, down the, there's like a underground stream that runs underneath the castle and that is what provides the water supply for this castle. And if only there was a way for me to get down there from up here. Uh, I need to find it. It's over here somewhere. I remember seeing it before. Hey, look at that. Wee. Oh, whoops. Okay. Wee. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a torch out. There we go. And let's explore through here. So as you can see, um, I'm not quite sure. Tell. I, I can't really think of a way or a reason why this would possibly be a. Um, a defensive flaw here but if you guys could tell me you know why something like this would be a flaw like having the water travel underneath the castle uh, I would like to know I mean it's far enough below where it's not really a flaw because you know they can easily just um, you know it wouldn't flood the castle because you know it's too far down and then it um, would come out over here now I guess what the, the attackers could do is clog that entrance up somehow I don't know how they would, but in that case, then there's also this stream over here, which is another outflow, which would take the water that would be uh, dammed up back there um, and down this way. So I don't know what the flaw would be, but if you guys could tell me why having water flowing underneath the castle would be a bad thing, let me know. But um, honestly, I think it's a pretty good idea. You know, it gives you a constant fresh supply of water. You know, it's not a stagnant pond. The water would always flow. So if they poison the water source, the poison would just flow out versus just being stagnant and um, cause problems. I think there's actually like a little bit of detail down here. Like a little, uh, yeah, here it is. A little place where someone died or something, you know, and threw his gold and stuff. So I can imagine that uh, someone uh, very, you know, protective of his gold decided he wanted to come down here and hide it. Uh, or maybe it's ancient, who knows. All right, and then there's a pulley system in order to get water up, so that's pretty cool. And it looks like, oh, this is the top, okay. So now we're gonna walk through here a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to get actually to the outside now, and we're gonna try to walk up to the Great Hall and see what there is to see up here. So as you can see, so this is back out into the courtyard. Um, so you had just gotten through the Barbican here, and then you come through. You got a blacksmith here to the left, and then you come through this is how you get up to the great hall it's another sort of like canyon thing going on and you got to get up through here in order to get into the great hall so we got some monuments to the uh judges of the of the contest you have monsterfish el bravo uh ducan el puerte fuerte Pretty sure that means ugly. <laughs> um, and then there's Velocity El Valiant. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty neat little chamber. You got the statues sort of of um, you know, there. It's a very neat backdrop. I really like how that looks. They did a really good job with that. And uh, I love the candles on the side. Now there are biome issues. There's always biome issues. I hate biomes. Ugh, 
it just kills me. So we got another statue here. Now this here is the audience chamber where the king would sit and um, see the people that would need to see him and he would make decisions here and such. Uh, it's kind of sad that he couldn't put in like a larger audience chamber. Uh, it would be more realistic in that sense, but um, one way or the other, it works. Um, it looks pretty good, so I'm not going to say much more on that. So we're gonna go down here. We got some more storage and pantries. Got a little elevator going on up here to lift goods from down below in the cellars up to the top. Uh, imagine because uh, they would need, they wouldn't want to carry all that stuff upstairs. Now it's not all the way to the top. You know that elevator isn't all the way to the top. So, all right. So what is this in here? It looks like an um, entire history of Iberia. It looks like I don't know what this room is. It looks like just a room, just a place where you can come in and sort of relax, maybe read a book. Um, there isn't much light in here, no natural light, no windows or anything, so that's, I'm uh, not quite sure why. Um, looks like we have a baker's oven in here. Uh, I imagine that's what it is, I don't know. I mean, it's, it kind of reminds me of a baker's oven. I can, it's a potter? Okay, it's a potter. Okay, so why would there be a potter in a castle? Um, I don't know. So then we come down here. We got a little uh, bathhouse, it looks. A little place where the uh, people of the castle can come and bathe. Because uh, imagine in the medieval days, you'd be getting pretty stanky. Um, yeah, so we don't want to think about that because it, it just ruins my my uh, my appetite um, something like that so here we go we are in the dining hall now now again it's not a very great dining hall but it's a pretty neat dining hall I like it a I like it yeah I like it um, it's a very small table uh, but it is what it is you know you'd expect in a palace you know, something huge but then again you go back to the um, subject of cramped space and I, I am experiencing that myself on the uh, on crying so um, I definitely know the feeling so uh, we come through here got a privy little place to you know, take a dump um, if you need to and you come up here all right so we've been through here now what else is there to see uh, on this level I'm not quite sure if there is anything else to see so we're gonna go actually up the stairs now and see what is on the next level see if there's anything neat to see up here all right so we now um, I imagine this is gonna be just a bunch of like bedrooms and such got a little garden out here for flowers a little peaceful place of Zen and peace and a little library going on there uh, several stairs that go up the castle to um, provide a way to get up to the top parts of the uh, the castle um, but yeah there's there's so much to see guys I'm not going to explore this all I'm just showing you some of the you know the outlines of it and uh, we're gonna actually go up to the king's room now uh, that's where I want to go and so we're just gonna go up as much as we can as you can see there's just so much there's so much in there to see so um, you guys will have to explore that for yourself. Uh, I actually want to go into here. This looks like a war room. So let's go ahead and go inside. Yes, this is a little war room in here where the generals and the captains would gather around the table and decide on what their plan of action would be. Um, typically, you know, you know, maybe this is a you know a defensive map, so maybe they're under attack and they're trying to figure out you know their secret passageways out into the wilderness in order to flank their enemies, or maybe that's a map of the place that they're planning on invading, and uh, they are coordinating with themselves uh, where they want to attack and how they want to attack and all that good stuff. And then you go up the stairs, and I think this leads up to the king's bedroom. Um, yes, it does. So this, I think, is the king's bedroom. We got a little observatory here. Now, this is something that some of you might not have thought of, you know, but this is a really cool idea. I love the little telescope above the stand there, and it sort of, like, looks out in the windows, and uh, you can see the stars at night, and uh, that is a really cool thing. I love that. 
And then you come into the other side, and this is a little bath chamber for whoever needs to take a bath. Um, but yeah, that is really cool. So let's just go ahead and get out of the castle now and look around it for a little bit. Um, but as far as the castle is concerned, it's very nice, really well done. Um, it definitely looks like a palace in my opinion. It's a very, um, now the style of it is very interesting. Like it's all sort of like thrown together and um, you know, uh, it works out pretty good and also for some of you that might have noticed these horses out here this is a really neat idea basically just using a bunch of stairs and such you can make these horses and uh, it works out pretty good I like that a lot and it looks like you have knights riding them into the castle and um, really cool things going on there so actually I want to go down here and see this cave now now that I'm in a good shader pack that can actually see it so we're gonna go in here it looks like just like a little sea cave um, little place over here are the tis not be treasure no gold here all right so uh, it's reverse psychology you know it's saying you, you see gold and then there's a sign that says it's not gold and then you're like oh, okay darn um, but yeah then yeah there's there's it's pretty nice neat in here I like this little sea cave uh, you imagine this place would fill up pretty pretty much when uh, the tide rises, if the tide rises. Um, typically tides rise, so uh, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, this is another place where people would get tortured. As you can see, you got a couple of these uh, thingamagummies. I totally forget what these are called. But uh, they would put the prisoners... How would they even get them out here is my question. I don't even know how they would get the people out into these uh, cages. That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, pretty cool guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm looking forward to the future videos because there is a lot more to see. Uh, for those of you that want to come join, come check, check out this plot, just go ahead and do slash warp Alcazar. A-L-C-A-Z-A-R and that's going to put you right here and you can check out it check it out for yourself uh, because there's only so much that I can show you and uh, there's so many little details and stuff around like I don't even know what that is what is that is that like a is that a head is that someone's head looks like someone's head yes it's somebody's head okay so someone died there um, that's pleasant but yeah check it out for yourself guys you know there's so much so many things to see uh, I've only explored so much like there's an abandoned house here a little place for uh, someone to fill in or maybe it's a haunted house haunted park maybe somebody was killed unjustly there and he comes back every now and then to haunt out anyone that possibly might come live there so <clears throat> In the medieval days, a lot of people got killed unjustly, um, at least from what I am aware of. So, uh, pretty nasty stuff. Pretty nasty stuff happened. Torture was dreary. Dreary, dreary stuff. But um, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to the next one. The next one will be on uh, Franz, Leonite, and Galicia. They have a nice little castle there. I'm really looking forward to it. It has really nice angles to look at it from, so uh, really excited for that. So you guys have a great day or night, wherever you're from. I look forward to the next one. Till then, bye bye